Italy. The president of the council, Sister Margaret, the mother provincial, the chief guest of the day, Reverend Father Joe Mace Jones, our, our dear principal, Sister Winda, Sister Maria, the head ministers of Mercy here in Bayan School or on the seat. I request everyone to rise and welcome our dignitaries on the skies.
duty and rank. Stepping forward now is Master Pratap of Class 10, the newly elected leader of the Fascist and Baptist.
participate in the school campus. I request Sister Margaret and Sister Yuprasina to pay the badges to the school assistants in leaders.
occasion of investiture ceremony. On the occasion of investiture ceremony, we take over we take over to serve our fellow students and school sincerely. To serve our fellow students and school sincerely, we will endeavor we will endeavor to be a perfect role model of discipline. To be a perfect role model of discipline, we will actively take part in. School activities and endeavor. School activities and endeavor to bring laurels and glory to it. To bring laurels and glory to it. We promise to serve. We promise. Idols of our school. To live up to the idols of our school. By fulfilling faithfully our duties entrusted to us. By fulfilling faithfully our duties entrusted to us. By the school authorities and teachers. By the school authorities and teachers. We will respect. The rules and regulations of the school. The rules and regulations of the school. And we will do the best of our ability. And we will do the best of our ability to preserve, to preserve, protect, protect, and defend the honor of our school. And defend the honor of our school.
The university is a ceremony, actually it's a ceremony of interesting power and authority to certain students or maybe to the student parliament to help in achieving the goals set by St. Rosano School for this particular year. And I would like to congratulate all those who are particularly selected or elected for that. Because you deserve it, your talents and your caliber deserves it. That is why you are in that position. So I would like to congratulate all the newly elected leaders of St. Rosalos Central School this year. And we told that we are entrusting you certain responsibilities. So it implies that we have trust on you. We have trust on your caliber. We have trust on your capacities. That is why we are entrusting. So be kind enough, be responsible enough to fulfill that duties entrusted to you. Usually what we see in the world is that when the power is bestowed. When an authority is passed or given, the general tendency is that those who are in power, they are trying to be dictators. So we have heard a lot of dictatorship stories in the history. And especially in the previous century, in the history we wrote, we read and we study about a lot of dictators. But at the end of the day, or at the end of the century, and as far as the 21st century is concerned, the dictatorship is totally an old-fashioned style of leadership. Nowadays, all the experts in the field of management and all those leaders are telling about the importance of teamwork to yield more results than being mere dictators. Now all emphasis is on the power and the specialities of teamwork. Teamwork yields more results than single dictatorship leadership. As we know, there is a famous basketball player in America and his name is Michael Jordan. Have you heard of him? So he once says, the talent wins events, the talent wins games, but the teamwork and intelligence wins championships. The talent wins games, maybe like our Neeraj Chopra, we may be able to win one particular event due to our talent, but in order to win a World Cup or any, there is no doubt about that, he is one of the greatest. He is really a coach, just like your Cristiano Ronaldo. But what to do? Is the caliber and talent of Messi is able to get a World Cup for Argentina? The same is with Cristiano Ronaldo. He is such a wonderful player, greatest of all time. But what to say? He can't win a World Cup for Portugal. Because individually they are excellent. But when it comes to a World Cup or any sort of the planning and intelligence smartest. That is why some teams which is not celebrated, which is not having much celebrated players like in Messi or Neymar or uh, Cristiano, the teams like Spain and the teams like uh, what you can say Germany and all taking World Cups. So our Virat Kohli, if he is hitting maybe a fastest century. Does that alone take that team to victory? Sister Benita, Sister Maria, and all my dear sisters, teachers, and beloved students. I don't want to take much of your time because Father Jomesh already given you the importance of this day. 
and he said what you are and what you have to do. I just add one or two words, that's not. Today's sermon, it is a colorful sermon because I see that you are dressed in a colorful way and I wish that the Rosario academic year be a colorful year in all the way. I think today's sermon, some of you are called to be leaders. All of us witnessed that. And Father Jomesh was saying, who is the leader? I'd like to want to say in a simple way. First of all, we have to be leaders of ourselves. Before becoming leaders of somebody else. We have to know to master ourselves, how we think, how we feel, how we act. And leaders, we heard, we hear, in all the fields we speak about leaders. But the Grosser School leaders have to focus, follow the best example of our great personalities of our nations. So our leaders, you should have moral power, spiritual power. Through your moral power and spiritual power, you prove that you are a leader. As Father Jomer said, not by becoming dictators. Through your moral power, through your spiritual power, you motivate, inspire to your fellow brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay, okay, I realize that you are there. Good. That you were so good and kind enough, kind enough to have this program here. It's about the investiture ceremony, the importance of the day. Already both the dignitaries of the day, that is the president of the function, our dear sister Margaret, and the chief guest of the day, uh, Reverend Father Jomesh. Both the persons, both of them had spoken very well, and I am sure that I don't want to add anything to it. Right? If you are able to practice, that is more than enough. Leaders are called to I am asking to the leaders. Leaders are called to serve. Yes, on the election day itself I had told you. And I am happy that uh, most of you are elected and some of you are selected. So elected and selected from the group as it was told. It shows your caliber that you can go. You can do it. And all others also. We have got so many leaders. But someone should come forward. So, you who are taken the oath today as the leaders of the school, you have a great role. Leaders to serve, that service is more important. And it was taught here early, the teamwork. You, can, you cannot do anything alone when you are in the team, especially the group, group captains. Your group wins with the team. Never the group captain alone cannot win for anything. And all throughout the year, we have got the points for the group. How the points is added? Is it with one single person? No, everyone is important. I used to tell you also, even you come late, if you belong to your group, that particular group is going to miss the points. So if you cannot add the points, but don't try to lose the points for that group. That is what more important.
leaders will give good examples in all our endeavors. Respect the dignities on dress, we love teacher, dear parents and dear friends. Good morning to all in our present year. We have just witnessed the magnificent display of talent by the students of our school. As this has the head goal of this school, it is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks. I thank the president of our function, Ms. Sister Margaret, the manager of our school, and Mother Provincial. Sister, your words are valuable and productive by you. Thank you, Sister, for your great presence. It's my pleasure to thank our chief guest of the day, Reverend Father Joe Major, principal of Deepwell Public School. Father, your words have inspired us by the sense of values and priorities in life. Thank you, Father, for spending your valuable time with us. I extend my sincere thanks to Sister Maria, the headmistress of Mr. Mercy Yuri Impaired School, who witnessed today's event. Thank you, dear sister, for your blessing on us on this occasion. My heartfelt thanks to our beloved principal, Sister Vinita. Sister, the words of wisdom you share with us today will remain in our hearts for the rest of our life. Thank you, dear sister. more than words can say from the depths of our heart and with due respect, thank you all my beloved teachers who made us what we are today. Words about our parents gather for this ceremony of your presence with us means a thousand times more than all expensive gifts you have given us and for gifting us dreams and possibilities. A big